no you have spent as i was going through your profile and uh, i was going through uh, the interview by uh, cynthia and what shantam uh, first of all uh, great evening to you from shantam side you know shantam was very much excited to hear the, uh, that i am interviewing you today so in fact he said i must i must share with you uh, with him uh, also the uh, uh, you know the uh, the video so i will be sharing with him also so as someone who has spent decades you know as as a soldier and your main job i believe was to kill so that means you must have seen extreme form of violence and now you are totally you know on the other side other pole where you have been promoting peace you are promoting non violence and non violent action so here is someone who's an incredible person who have actually experienced both violence and non violence in both the ways so i request you to kindly share your perspectives on the power of both violence and non violence so what was the power you had when you were doing violence and what is the power you have now that you are practicing non violence you are practicing mindfulness and how do we make people across the world understand on how violence steers the fabrics of our lives and existence how violence is of no use actually yes krishan please go ahead yeah from my perspective about violence is this um mm -hmm. i spent 27 good run years and making violence you know violent in this uh, it disconnect you Mm -hmm. Violence is never a good thing. You have no moral conduct. You have no stoic consciousness when you come to violence. I'm speaking violence in the context of the practice of mindfulness. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, in the context of mindfulness, violence is said to discrimination, to discriminate uh, because of misunderstanding, mm -hmm. uh, misinterpretations of people, whether sex mm -hmm. uh, or, or colors or what. So violent action is misappropriation, is misinterpretation to one itself. Mm. After being in the military for 27 good one years, that, that was brutal and brutal violence and killing and shooting around the globe, you know, in Liberia. I went mm -hmm. to violence for complete 15 good round years of civil conflict, where I was mm. a captain, a captain, I became a general from the general, you know, and, and shooting and shooting of that. So we went through the amazing, intense violence when I experienced, you know. So and violence make you violent for you into uh, a post-traumatic stress disorder, which is the PTSD. A chronic mm. violence into the post-traumatic stress disorder. So as a general, I was just drinking and violence and killing and shooting here and there. So I was completely addicted into violence. So I became like a sansara, you know, like a vicious circle. It's so, so a violence become a vicious circle to me. So from one end to the another end, from one place to the another place of violence in my life. Um, violence itself, it disconnects you from, 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 from relatives, from your friends, from your loved ones, from everybody. And, okay. Hello. Hear you? Hear you? Please go ahead. Yeah. So when I came, uh, when I came to the practice of mindfulness, you know, and embrace on um, the stroke consciousness of 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 nonviolence, I came across a woman called Cynthia Jules, who have been a very good teacher of mine. She have been teaching me the practice of mindfulness for for years ago. She's a beautiful lady. A woman of great compassion, I call her my Apple Loki Tashwala, which means the, a woman of great compassion. So she's been the, my Apple Loki Tashwala since I met the practice. Okay. When I got to the practice of mindfulness, I begin to uh, grow in that stroke consciousness. I begin to I begin to get aware of myself. You know, I'm aware now of what I do. So uh, mindfulness is a uh, me to be aware. So I begin aware, I begin aware of myself. Hey, oh, this is me. I'm naked. I, 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 I shouldn't have been here shooting. I shouldn't have been here drinking and, and taking alcohol and taking marijuana and all of that. I should stop this. So stopping is another form of, of, of non-violence. So I ran, run around, run around until I stop. Until I stop, I was still in that uh, uh, violent position. When I stop, I begin to look around, begin to see, I begin to get away 
aware, you know, around me that, yes, I need to stop this thing. And when I stop, then, and when I stop violence, what come to mind, and I begin to have conscious within me. I begin to have conscious, I begin to have feeling for humanity. I begin to have love for the universe. I begin to have love for, 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 for mankind. I begin to have compassion for the eye, for moral happiness. So this thing all make a, 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 a what? Non-violent. When you have non-violent, when, 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 when you're trying to practice non-violent, you will, you, you will get love for the earth, you will get love for the planets, you get love for the human being, you get love for nature and all that for the uh, uh, non-violent. All right. When I come to the practice, what happened? I begin to see the reality of life. I begin to see the essence of life. So I, I, I will only look at the form of life, the form of life, which is in the, uh, 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 being dogmatic and dogmatic things that we have to be the form of life and everything. So I come and begin to see the form of life in a different way. 27 years, I've been in violence. When I came to the seventh hour of the practice, and I said, oh, I was lost. It's like one lost thing. And I begin to see peace. I begin to see the reality of peace. I begin to see uh, of myself in a new world. I begin to see myself, you know, uh, 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 how we call it, and, uh, and stepping into freedom. I see myself say, oh, but I begin to have love. As a matter of fact, I was like wanting to, to avenge on somebody. I wanted to take a revenge on somebody who have killed five members of my family. During the war, this guy they called General Green went to my family place and killed five members of my family. So yeah, I got no, very, very much angry. Yeah, Christian, I will ask you that particular question in another mm -hmm. context. And here, uh, while okay, we are okay. talking about non-violence, I will request you, like, no, I, re I remember reading that uh, interview uh, uh, with yeah. uh, Cynthia, mm -hmm. and she said that you, uh, your main transformation came when you first met uh, someone from Everyday Gandhis, no, the uh, uh, group in Liberia, Everyday Gandhis. So, yeah. as someone who is practicing mindfulness and nonviolence now, uh, how uh, how were you inspired by the ideas of Mahatma Gandhi, and uh, whether you are aware of the ideas of uh, uh, you know nonviolence of Mahatma Gandhi and how it has impacted you? You see, the issue of Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi is a father of peace in the whole universe. All right, and I like I was on my way when I got these people. I was on my way going to uh, uh, like Africa, coast, the same thing, coming to uh, another country. Another missionary act, yeah, another missionary act, and I came across a, a group of people who were just sharing peace. Then I got to know that they were working, they were working for a group called the Everyday Gangsters in the States, in the United States of America. So from there, mm -hmm. and, and, and I began to know that they were working for peace and, and working for peace for the community, you know, bringing peace. So I said, oh, interesting. So mm -hmm. as, as a general, I was sent to Ghana, to Kofi Anna to attend the Kofi Anna International Peacekeeping Institute to prepare myself for peace building. And I became peace ambassador. So you see, from a perpetual violence, you see, from a perpetrator to a peace builder, and I began to work for peace. So I embraced the issue of uh, that non-violent organization. I want to Ghana and I learn and peace building. I learned youth and peace education. I learned uh, uh, early warning and early response all of that in the Kofi Anna uh, uh, in Ghana. Then what happened? And I begin to go back to the slum. You see, I begin to go back to the slum and take these children, these stars here from, from, from the slum, and begin to help them about peace building. You know, the problem is that I'm an ex mega general, all right. When you see a mega general fighting for peace and working for peace, so you will get interested and you will follow me. So I begin to understand the significance of Muhammad Gandhi, how he, he, he brought peace. Without any violence, without any bullet, without any arm, without any weapon, and he brought peace. So, hello. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Continue, please. Continue. Okay, okay. And I begin to bring, and I begin to bring that peace to the mm -hmm. world. All right. And I say, oh yes, oh uh, non violent it's a very powerful tool that you can work with to bring to bring to bring peace to mankind. Because peace in oneself, according to my great teacher Ta, peace in the whole wide world. So uh, 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 and I begin to know that mommy Ghanis are going around propagating, propagating peace without any violence, without any without any weapon. So I pursued uh, uh, thing, the same thing. And I said, if Mohammed Ghani can do it, 
all right, I'm an ex general, I can do the same thing. And I begin to go around. No matter, no, it's very expensive. Nonviolent is very expensive because you're going to say the truth, you're going to work for truth, you're going to work with humanity, you're going to be clear, you're going to make the universe, your voice has to be here to people, and they must see your action. They must see who you are. They must see your action working for peace. You got to be peaceful no matter what you do, even no matter if it costs your safety. You must be very much peaceful. You must be peaceful as Mohammed Ghanin does. So Mohammed Ghanin is like an like like example you know, to everybody in the universe. And I begin to follow uh, 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 that spirit of Mohammed Ghanin. As a matter of fact, when I start my peace work, I begin to have dreams. I will see the old man in a ragged clothes coming to me. You know, so I'm like, each time I have this dream, I will see this old man in a ragged clothes. Then at the time, when I ask him the dream, people say, oh yeah, that's the spirit of Muhammad Ghani. So as a spirit of Muhammad Ghani, I promised in the war for 27 good years, I, 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 unbroken years, I won the war, and I say, I, Christian, Waddle Betterson, way in every way, never, Never even care to fly, never even care to mosquitoes, never even care to end because they deserve to live. That's the spirit of nonviolence. When you're in you, you are peaceful, you don't take anything or, or, or harmful, you don't care your fellow friend, you don't wish your fellow friend by, you, 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 you become peaceful, you love the universe, you love the planet, you love the life, and you put on the armor of the wisdom of peace. So, right. That's that's, that's amazing. I, wanna, I just want to be that peace general. I want to be that's, the next Muhammad Ghani. Oh, that's amazing. Peace general. That's a very powerful, uh, uh, you know, term that you have tried to use. You want to become a peace general. That's general, amazing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. In fact, because, in fact, because uh, what happened is that what happened is that uh, in violence, if you see the United Nations, the whole world, world they spend billions and billions of dollars on Misa. Blowing mm -hmm. the universe, we find the awesome layer on the earth is very thin of right now because the whole world there's violence and violence. How can mm. it so So I'm trying to find what we call uh, 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 the war veterans in the line, the war veteran alliance. Where mm -hmm. we have the war veterans alliance, the war veteran alliance will have be, will be that that's my goal. And like Mohammed Ghana will have the chains of peace to say we are mm. ambassador to the universe. Every soldier, yeah. every ex soldier we come out, you know, and say no to violence, and we can be saying, you know, that we can say no to the war, that because the war now is, is, you see, the pollution of the earth is so bad up. You find sickness coming around, you find Ebola, and you are seeing sicknesses, you are seeing uh, coronavirus, all because of discrimination around the world, around the planet. So you see, so why should we take misa anymore? The issue, the, the issue of, of, of terrorism, the issue of, of bombing around the world is so, it's just increasing because there's no law. There's misinterpretation somewhere. So we need to come with compassion. Peace comes with compassion. You can't say, I'm a, I'm a peace builder, and you don't have compassion. We must have compassion mm. in our heart. So That's right. I'm trying to establish what we call the War Veteran Alliance, where the, the, the veterans from India will speak peace. The veterans from Iran will speak peace. The veterans the veteran from North Korea, the veterans from America, the veterans from, 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 from Vietnam, the veterans from uh, 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 Badar, the veterans from Afghanistan, we come together you know, and speak peace. And we say, hey, moral mm -hmm. act is the only place for all to live. You can never live anywhere. When you don't love the earth, you can now be peaceful. You have to find a mm. lesson with the earth, you know, with yourself, the earth, you know, we have been lost. I have been to hell and back. So we mm. have been lost from, from, from our identity, our true self, our true calling. We have been astray. We go astray as an exile. We suffer from PTSD, big time. But what happened? When we take a breath and come to ourselves, you know, and come to our soul consciousness and say, hey, we must be peaceful to ourselves. And it's a very, very good thing. I enjoy myself. I'm no more in a no, in a violence. You know, I, I, I'm a non-violent man right now. I'm enjoying myself. You know, I'm breathing well. I, I, it's so beautiful to be peaceful. It, it, it pays to be peaceful. There are a lot of benefits in being peaceful. You see, it's so I'm enjoying this part, this, this of life. Uh, yeah, that's that's your point that you want to become a peace general and also I that become very, very a peace general, no war general, but a peace general. Yes. Yes, and also your effort to initiate some kind. of of a, uh, you know, uh, our, our, our network of war veterans for peace. This is amazing, yeah, you know. This. In fact, as Gandhi had said that, you know, if we practice an eye for an eye and a tooth for tooth, 
Soon the whole okay. world will yeah. be blind. Yeah. We all can try to see. I feel get peace to the universe. You know? Know? Like, 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 like United Nations, you know, when United Nations yes. is with so the world veteran alliance can come from America, can come from India. We can have a general room, you know, we sit, we breathe, you know, we tell story, and we, we, we see how can we bring about end to violence around the earth. You know, we can do that. We can bring people on board. You know, we speak to people, we speak because it will be people of, 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 of integrity, people that have been uh, in violence, you know, people have been in the object and you know, you know, protracted violence that can come from there. You say, oh, I've been there, or drugs, Alec, you know, and all of that. From there and share. In fact, uh, I, I, I do work now, this way and see. Yeah. No, my question is now, uh, as I pointed out with that quote, uh, you were sharing your own experience of forgiveness. No, when you said that uh, some of uh, one particular general tried to uh, actually kill some members of your families. So, in a world with so much of ill feelings and conflicts, how uh, how how challenging it was for you to forgive that person who killed five members of your families and you thought you will forgive them. So how important a uh, it was for you to forgive that person who actually uh, shot down five members of your family and how important it is for we as human beings to practice forgiveness at all levels, brother. We are peaceful. When you practice peace, you practice mindfulness. Yes, yes. No, please you, share your yes. experience that you were trying to share no, earlier. Uh, now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's so important to the universe, you know, to forgive. Forgiveness is one of the key tools you can add to, uh, 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 add to non violence. Because when you forgive your fellow friend, when you forgive, the legacy of peace will live on. All right, I never read any account where somebody slapped Mohammed Gandhi and Mohammed Gandhi slapped them back. No, I never read any account of Mohammed Gandhi slapping somebody back, you know, in exchange of, 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 of non violence. So, because I decided to be very peaceful and I want to live the peaceful life because I went to war for 27 good and broken years, stay in the military, you no know, exchanging fire. So, and to forget how to come within, it had to be done organically. Is number four, when you begin to forgive your fellow friend, you look at humanity, you look at creation. All right, you see the existing, you see the creation of mankind, and you don't destroy. Yes, yes. Hello, brother. Yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to destroy the universe. Then obviously you have to forgive, you have to forgive your fellow friend. So, um, based upon that, when I. I Based upon that, during the war, hello, during the war, uh, a friend of mine went to my village and killed uh, uh, three of my brothers and killed uh, 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 my auntie and my uncle, five good person, he killed them. So uh, when I came back to time and I said, well, I'm going to kill this person in return of my, of, of my family members. So that history lived on and it caused me suffering because I wanted to pay, I wanted to pay back, I wanted revenge. So, I, I was kind of like wanting to do thing, you know, that I was that equal, I was too uh, egotistic, you know, I, I want to, I want to revenge, I want to revenge, I want to revenge. So it was just there until when I got to Plum Village, I met a, 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 a Zen master called Tik Nahan. All right. He, he, he's the father of mindfulness right now. So when I met him, he taught on forgiveness, you know, in the practice. What somebody want to, why are you holding on to something that you can, you can, you can let go? So I said, oh. Like somebody talking to me, you know, and, and, and it resonated within me. And we went to a diamond sharing, and I shared that in the group that I will be willing to forgive somebody who have killed five members of my family. All right. And, and, and every one of us is there. That seal is there. The sea of, of, of forgiveness is in our strong consciousness until we can water the seas. Then we examine the, in our strong consciousness, and we we, 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 we become we, uh, to forgive. Uh, 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 someone else. So you see, so that C was there, but it was there. It was there, done in my soul consciousness, but I don't know I could forgive until I came to the practice of mindfulness. All right. And I began to forgive this guy. So I call him. I said, Look, I call his wife. I said, What, uh, what is your husband? And she said, Her husband is in Australia for the past 11 years. 
I said, oh, I'm very sorry that I caused suffering for your husband. And I, when I came from Plum Village, I sent for him. He came from Sierra Leone. He came to Liberia. We embraced one another. I said, look, my brother, let forget, let bygone be bygone. We can forgive one another, you know, and 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 and, and move forward. And you know what? His children were suffering too. His children were suffering because he could not uh, uh, be around for his children. He was now there. He was in Ezra. You see. And also, I gotta know Ezra is 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 terrible to be in Ezra. I know how uh, 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 it takes to be in Ezra. So I, I will order forgiving from the depth from the depth and the bottom part of my heart, and we, we move forward. Today he's a very good man. He's a peaceful man. When I got sick, he took good care of me too. You see, when I got sick, I went to the hospital to his to a hospital. He's a very good doctor. He, you know, he took good care of me, and we don't, now we are very good friends. So forgiveness, the fruit of forgiveness is prosperity. You see, the fruit of uh, forgiveness is good life. It's oh, healthy wonderful. life. A beautiful mm -hmm. country. It's a, mm -hmm. a, it's a vibrant society. <laughs> Right. That's right. The food, of, the food of forgiveness is it, it, a vibrant society. It being a beautiful mm. people in a civilized mm. society where there will be no, no violence. Because what mm. we are bring back in the, the, the food of forgiveness into our community. We see people mm. smile, joy come again, happiness. There will be greatness. There will be healing in the land, and everyone all will march into into prosperity because we learn to forgive. We learn to see equal. equal. There's no or uh, 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 how we call it or uh, racism. We we don't discriminate our, our, our federal friend. We learn to forgive and learn to take one another equal share. So in other words, we create a spirit of interbeing. Then we all are interbeing. I see you in myself, and you see me in myself, and I see you in uh, 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 in myself. So right now, you see. There's no way we can do this communication. The phone is us. We, I see you in this phone. You are hearing my voice in the phone. I see you in the phone, and I feel you in the phone. We all are interbeing. So we all should learn how to forgive one another. Oh, that's a profound statement, brother. That's a very profound statement. In fact, uh, also going, uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, as you've been, uh, you know, uh, for the 27 years of your life, you were in violence. You must have also seen a large number of child soldiers, you know, children who are pushed into uh, the conflict zone by making them child soldiers. What are the impact? Yeah. What, 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 what do you think are the impact on or effects of conflicts on children and especially the child soldiers? And how do we as uh, uh, as individuals, as groups, try to work to end the whole culture of recruitment of child soldiers in the world because it is still continuing and it is so frightening. So, brother, can you share one the, like issue, the issue of education? Education is one of the basics we can do with to take child soldiers. Uh, it happened to me when I when I when I when I, uh, I was going to school. I put myself in the empathy of child soldiers. I was going to school and uh, my father had nine good wives, were about like, 20, like 32 children. So I could not go to school. I could not go to school. So it wasn't easy for me. So when the government make a pronouncement, so whosoever joined the army, we go to school. So you see, because of peer pressures, because of abject poverty, I went and joined the army. Yeah, yeah, yes, continue brother. Yeah, so when I joined the army, there was no scholarship. And I found myself in the army and shooting and going to war and, and stuff like that. So you see, the child studios come, uh, the, the issue of child studios is, of, is because of poverty, because of lack of education. So now, if I'm seeing, uh, uh, you see, uh, 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 this is why uh, uh, the, is, the issue of scholarship program, school fee program, all right, uh, uh, taking uh, 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 the people on the street and putting them in the school. Because when the man is in the school, when he's in school, uh, 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 learning something, he will not have the cost to become a child soldier. He will not have, be, uh, have the cost to go to war when he learns something. This guy learns something because of, uh, because of the, 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 the vulnerability. They are vulnerable to society. They don't have an enemy. Their parents don't have money. They don't have cash. So if you look at ISIS, this is why the issue of bombing, you know, terrorism, Argentina is going on because of what? Poverty, abject poverty and discrimination. So you see, when people are discriminated, they begin isolated, they, uh, they take that set, then they get into despair. When they get into despair, they find themselves smoking and addiction and thing, joining war. You see? So to bear this thing up is education and awareness. Because there's no awareness around the globe. 
Pogo and bodies going and gave it to the children and getting drunk to smoke. No awareness. You see, now I'm fighting hard to pay awesome education standard for myself. I, what I saw now, what I'm looking at now, what I'm seeing now, I can never, ever, ever in my life until I'm dead and the body is cremated, I can never go back to war. I can never ever go to war because I'm 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 I'm, I'm getting I'm getting educated to the fact that uh, 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 you know I'm trying to cultivate I'm I'm cultivating a way of life that I, I will never ever kill anything on planet Earth. You see, that's the 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 the, 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 the training of the fire mindfulness. You see, never ever will support any act of violence, any act of killing in my life anymore in my life. So because I know I'm educated to that right now that. Killing. Property yeah, for yeah. human suffering is not mm -hmm. a good thing at all. So the child soldiers are very much vulnerable. They don't know That's what right. they do. No education. Mm -hmm. Education. People are very poor. So the, the, mm -hmm. the, this guy, this the, the, this government poor, use the children as a human shield, as a human machine, putting it on the wall front because the child, the child soldier, they are vulnerable. They don't know anything. They have no, they have no ideas to lie. Mm -hmm. You take, mm -hmm. you take a 14 years old and a 16 year old child and get them guns to go and fight. What they know about guns? They don't know the history of guns. They don't know the issue of uh, Arizona Karamshun car, which is the AK 47. They don't know how to fire an RPG with the rapid, uh, 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 the, the, the racket prepared grenade. They don't know how to fire the, uh, uh, the RPG. This child here don't know how to fire the Bravo Zulu Tango, which is the BZT. This child here don't know how to fire the AA. Which is anti aircraft missile. He don't know how to fire AK-50. He's dragging around because of lack of education. So you gave him a hand grenade. You see, you gave him the RPG. You gave him the missile to go and fire. He go and get killed on the body from. He or the only way he go and get wheezed. He get drunk. He take drugs and things. So you use that. You use the, the child soldier as a human shield. I think this is absolutely unacceptable. This is wrong to the earth. This is not a good sign. So we need a proper education. To pull these children into school, to feel them, make them to know that they are they are they are they are the potential leader tomorrow for their own society. But this is this is like this is this is lacking. All right, the, the the issue of civil education is lacking. They don't know that people don't mm. know that very well. There are children going around. I feel very 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 bad when I see the ex sale, the ex combating the child sale. You know, there's no education. This one, your Cynthia is trying my alcohol to 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 have the radio program and, and awareness in Liberia. Don't but one of our colleagues, they call Harper Kamal. You know, he's carrying on the radio program so that a lot of child so you can listen to it. You know, and 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 and, and come to the spirit of nonviolence. You see, but this also too is is a something that that we can deal with. We can deal with. Yeah. It. We can we can talk to one person and one person can talk to another person and another person can talk to another person like i'm saying this is my wish i want to become the peace general and going around yep. from place to place from country to country people getting peace because we are so mm. violence for so long i've been myself i've been a very young guy in the army i didn't enjoy my life i didn't enjoy my children's life you know and i saw when i came from the battlefront i was like very crazy Mm -hmm. No food to feed my family, nothing to eat, and nothing like that. They were so worried, and there's no tension. It was so, it was not easy, you know. Until mm -hmm. I come to the spirit of the, after I come to the, the practice of mindfulness, and I see myself uh, uh, as a role model for many ex combatants and many child soldiers. As a, I see myself as a peace ambassador for many people and many children. So I'm focused. I'm taking on the armor of peace to make sure yeah. Africa yeah. and the rest of the world be safe. That's right. We can minimize viol uh, violence. We can talk to people because I saw violence with my eye. I went to a, I went to an era where I was there when the president got killed at the Freeport of Monrovia. I was there. One horror and twenty-seven person got killed in that place, and I left. I went to Sierra Leone. You see, I got shot on my leg. And I went to Sierra Leone. So I saw violence, and I would never ever in my will, in my thinking, in my speech, in my body speech, in my mind speak violence anymore in my life because non-violent is the way there's no way to peace peace is the way oh wonderful wonderful uh, brother now also my i think my friend also uh, probably mansi uh, would you like to ask uh, christian some question mansi are you hearing me hello mansi hello 
हेलो मानसी कैन यू हियर अस हेलो यस मानसी आई थिंक क्रिश्चियन माय फ्रेंड मानसी वुड लाइक आल्सो टू आई आई थिंक वुड बी इंटरेस्टेड इन आस्किंग क्वेश्चन टू यू मानसी इफ यू यस मानसी प्लीज थैंक यू सर हेलो क्रिश्चियन आई एम एक्चुअली ओवरवेल्म्ड आफ्टर यू आर लाइक कम मासी कैन यू ब्रिंग अ वॉइस ऑफ स्मॉल Am I audible now, Christian? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you go. Yeah. So, first of you, I would like to thank you for giving me such wonderful insights uh, into how uh, we humans have immense potential to transform ourselves into anything we want to. So, I just have one question. So, whether the realization that dawned upon you uh, that non-violence is the way forward for you was uh, all of a sudden or gradual? Uh, did you? Uh, make up your mind gradually that no i am not going to do anything uh, violent uh, from now onwards or uh, was the uh, change of heart uh, all of a sudden that it, it is there something that transformed you immediately or things uh, took their way gradually uh, can i speak to that now yes Hello? yes thank you Yeah, as uh, I, I was in the U.S. in 2000, and then um, in 2009, um, uh, there was a bear, the bear of mindfulness. Okay, uh, like I said, you use the word uh, 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 spot. It, it was since it just just start happening all sudden, sudden and no. It was a process that was going on in my life. So, I I had never come to mindfulness before. I've never come to of uh, this thing before to become a peace builder. I don't know that about before. So, I was in the U.S. <clears throat> visiting you know and this woman called Cynthia Jew who happened to be my teacher my dynamic and love I love her so much you know she's my she's the, the, the she's my mother in the dharma she brought this bell and she rang the bell in my ear and it was my very first time to listen to the mindful bells king that bell went in my brain in all my body like a, like a in retro shot and I came to the realization and it, it brought me back to my true calling the sound of the bell oh yes the sound of the bell a very powerful and meaningful sound of that bell brought me back you know and i feel so gentle and i take this deep breath you know and i begin to feel that con- that connection of maybe far off my body and like my spirit was far off my body and as through the sound of the bell and that spirit begin to come back to the realization of the practice of being mindful so and i told her hey can you teach me how to practice i love this thing i have never listened to the sound of the bell before and because i wanted this and i feel that it was good for me and i asked for it and numerous time and she said okay i will teach you how to practice and she taught me how to practice and i big it was a gradual process you know got your process i begin to drop begin to drop alcoholism i begin to drop uh, uh, marijuana smoking and all of that so and it was like a healing process going on like you 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 sick and you go to the doctor and the doctor say okay you have to take the pill for certain certain time and you'll be healed so you see so when you are sick you can just take a pill and spontaneously you just got healed no you got to go through the process of taking your pills and then the pills will work So the process of mean of mean uh, uh, coming to the realization of of peace is by stopping. Stopping is one of the things that we can do. All right, I've been running around, running around, running around, and then I stop and begin to take a deep breath and look around me and see nature and see that hey, the breeze that I blow, the breeze, the, the air that I take in, the the breeze, the, the breath that I take out. What is the meaning of this breath? And I begin to come to my true self, my truth calling. So it was it, it was not just a, 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 a even it was a, it was a process, and I was willing to allow myself to be in line with the practice, and I'm very grateful to my teacher, to Judge Cynthia Jules. She's a wonderful and a beautiful human being, who have put me on the path of life, who have put me on the path of mindfulness. <laughs> oh, I- no no uh, christian oh brother no no uh, um, i can i can understand you 
that uh, yeah yeah no in fact uh, you see uh, i've always uh, talking to chan from and you know I'm, i'm sorry for being so emotional in a way ah see brother it is i know i know i know uh, don't worry all working together and there yeah. it is I, i'm sorry uh, i'm sorry for being so emotional I'm sorry sorry no 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 don't worry we are always with you and in fact we really want that uh, we should uh, have this whole yeah. better most amazing idea that you gave on a war veterans network for peace which is such a important thing because each one of us uh, uh, all especially people who are in the conflict zones or in the violence knows the importance of non violence so that is something very very important for us to understand i remember a friend of mine who is of course uh, he's just a student now uh, he is studying in sudan and you know so much of violence in sudan so he uh, last year he was telling me mohammad mirgani ki brother you see uh, only we who have been in the you know conflict zones realize the importance of non violence probably you may not have faced non violence so that's the reason you but we are desperate that we should have non violence in way so sudan also you see is, is a country which is going a lot of uh, issues and concerns so that is something very very important so yeah, now my 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 concern about no uh, violence around the world around the globe of africa is this is this is it is a huge benefit you know and the country will prosper itself the country will prosper there will be no rape there will be no terroristic there will be no terroristic killing there will be no ritualistic killing there will be nothing they ever prosper before news of as a human human shield the use mm-hmm. this this sodia in africa what they put do the bait on a matter as on on based on your own educated on educated people you know on the vulnerability of people they build a matter as upon your 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 your, your vulnerability and they begin to perpetuate themselves into 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 power because why you don't have the will power you don't have the education you don't have the awareness so they use you and you perpetrate evil you know and this thing into into the into the matter as now and they live in a super house and lazura place and get super rich like i'm 61 mm. years old i don't have place to stay i don't have place to live so you see because why i went to war and after that they dump you and call you war veterans they dump you and call you because and say wait you 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 are ptsd who gave up ptsd we went to war we are educated people we went to war and after that they say you war veterans you 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 go for nothing and our people begin to take drugs and and, and because of uh, of frustration they get into despair and i'm say hey the practice of mindfulness their breath have no the your pit the ptsd have no power over our breath when we take it breathing in and breathing out just breathe and know you are well breathe out and you know you are aware that you are breathing out it is a support support powerful tools you can use to 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 to, to bring peace to yourself all right and the issue of of of, of violence we 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 will subside in the universe this is what i'm seeing if we can find an alliance where we can have in the internet conversation with people that run the world people in somalia people in in syria people in afghanistan people in uh, 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 in, in in israel or people of different different quarter that we can come and say hey this is the organization of world veteran alliance we can come to an, a country like the uh, like syria we can go to a country like 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 the, the somalia we can go to a country like the, the like like the, the sudan and say what are you fighting for who are you killing you are killing yourself because i live in you and you live in me we take a breath there's no se- there's no we are not a, 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 a separate self we all are one self entity we breathe the same air we walk the same walk we share the same dream we sit together as one we breathe together as one we eat at one why should we share blood and kill innocent people on the face of the planet is never a good thing if we want to have a vibrant society we want to have a very peaceful and and, and, and a meaningful earth let's start a blood share and let's stop non uh, non violent let's start killing the animals let's start killing the animals and live and live alliance with the animals live a line of the plant the trees mother life the air the bro we breathe in let fun way to be peaceful with ourselves let fun way to just be peaceful and smile you know and take I, that uh, agenda into us 
Yes, yes. We let, let, let us be aware of uh, uh, let them be aware of the suffering caused by by war. That's it's, right. So, yeah. Yes, man. I think uh, uh, you want to add something on this, Manthi. No, sir. I am actually feeling uh, very bad that I had touched the wrong nerve, and I sent a message to in this chat section, and I, I can see how compassionate a human being Christian is uh, right now, and I'm sure it must be very difficult for him uh, to handle uh, each and every emotion. So I am actually inspired to follow the uh, path of non-violence because of Christian. I truly feel that it is. Uh, now uh, I feel that it is better to forget and move on in life. So thank you so much for this wonderful session, sir. Thank yes. you for inspiring me. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Thank you. Uh, in fact, I think uh, uh, probably Christian, uh, would you like to add something on the importance of kindness at this stage, uh, which will be our last question for the day. Now, importance yeah. and essence, uh, importance of kindness, importance of uh, you know gratitude, importance of kindness and gratitude. That will be our last question for the oh, day. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The importance of kindness is that. Look, let me tell you. When we, when we, when we are kind. It could be very kind, you know, and kindness is, is one of the things that is lacking within our within our circle today. We need to be kind and, and in, in, we, we need to have gratitude, even more especially for, for, for Mother Earth. Because we tread the earth, we walk on the earth, Mother Earth, Mother Earth carol every day. We walk on our foot. We walk, you know, gently. We just take a walk. We, we breathe in, we breathe out, and we just gotta be, we, we just, Gotta be, uh, 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 you gotta owe all gratitude, you know, to moral life. So, the importance of kindness and gratitude is so significant in our life. For instance, like, uh, uh, uh Sinta Jews, which is my, 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 my teacher, my mother, she showed me kindness. She showed me kindness. Make sure I have a new life. Take me from Liberia to, uh, to Abidjan. Make sure that I got a brand new life. Take me the issue. Take me from non-violence or, or, or society. Bring me back those kindness. Those are our kindness. Even if you talk to somebody about non-violence, it's kindness. If you share your resources with somebody who is in need, it's kindness. Those are all kindness we need it. We need to we need to take people from the street of India. We need to speak to the general of, of, of India. We need to speak to the general of Pakistan. We need to share our resources among the children in the slum community of India. We need to get a children milk. We need to get a hope. Those are all kindness. All right. Those are all kindness. It, 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 one kind of deserve, deserve another kindness. You see, so in gratitude, in gratitude, I owe all to all body suffer like you, you beautiful people beyond it, uh, uh, beyond, uh, uh, in a, a, another part of the world. All right. And we share this. This is also part of a, a, a part of my healing process. Because when you tell your story, you, you, you a, 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 like a healing process that is going on. You heal, the next person is heal and everything. So in gratitude, I'm so happy to body suffer like you people, and I'm so happy to all, all body suffer around the universe, and I'm happy to you. Uh, 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 uh. I'm happy to everybody. Most of the Masi Shama. Masi Shama yeah. asked a very wonderful question. She she's so beautiful in your she's I left a gentle voice. She was so kind in your voice. Oh man, you loving people. I'm so happy. So mm. the issue of kindness, the issue of kindness and gratitude should never depart from us. That's right. That's right. Thank and you. Christian, now where is your family? It is a thing that we have to think of. Kindness and gratitude. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yes, yes. Also, needed to ask you a personal question. Where is your family, uh, Christian, brother? Oh? Your family? Your family? Ah, that's another thing. I'm I'm not with them right now. Mm -hmm. uh, in Liberia, yeah, because of some political reasons, so I I'm disconnecting with them. But in due course, um, mm -hmm. uh, Cynthia is trying to work on modality to see how Bell can take maybe a refuge in Canada. So uh, okay. yeah, this is our hope, and all you got to so please send your attention, your intention to that, to pray with okay. Cynthia Jews. Give me anything you want to share with her, and uh, she's praying with me. We need your prayer to see how bad my family can join me in Cote d'Ivoire, and we all can in due course we can have a brand new life to go to Canada. That's our dream right now. 
Okay, okay, okay. Perfect, perfect. Fine, yeah. uh, brother. It was such a wonderful thing uh, talking to you. And in fact, uh, I am so grateful to my friend uh, Shantam. As I said, Shantam is much senior to me, much much senior to me in age and all. He was my at the UNDP. But you see, uh, you know, like he has never been a boss. He never showed that he's a boss. He always showed that he's a friend. so that is the best part of it and i am so so uh, you know you feel so good that you are also uh, having something like that you know that trait so i have l- learned from shantam that whole thing of how to reach out to people how to work with people and how never like it was amazing uh, you know working with him as uh, someone so he never you see he never made us uh, made me realize that he was the boss and i was working under him he always made me yeah. real yeah. that he was great you know and then that is brashan brashan is a brashan is a very wonderful person i ever met in plum village in, uh, in france if yeah, I, yeah. one one of our diamond sharing he say you use the word how can we touch the ultimate dimension i'm say what yeah you brought that topic how can we touch the ultimate dimension but ashanto and his beautiful family they are so wonderful they are so loving it's so good to be in a circle of 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 non violence i'm so happy because it's in permanence you know it's in permanence because in permanence they want to bring connection to everybody i talk to somebody yeah. everybody you know so in permanence is a very beautiful thing too so i love ashanto yeah yes, it's so beautiful important. so thank you uh, mansi if you have any question or also our friend pankaj is there if you want to uh tell anything to uh, brother christian and also uh, mansi has requested pankaj that uh, when you uh, finally uh, finally record the whole thing uh, here she has mentioned that please check if the transcription is enabled so that it will be easier for her to transcribe so but uh, uh, mansi your final word uh, i think uh, your final word to you while uh, christian i promise that we will all be remaining in touch and try to work together so that we can contrib- contribute to a culture of peace and non violence so that is all that is my happy yes 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 so mansi if you have the final word and also pankaj if you want to tell something to christian mansi please the 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 of our graphic thing is to mansi yes the christian is a wonderful human i am actually i can feel a change of heart within myself too so thank you for arranging uh, such a wonderful uh, session sir i am indebted to you for this thing and also to christian for giving me such uh, beautiful uh, uh, in- insights into how human beings should always uh, focus upon the uh, values which make world a peaceful place to live thank you so mm. much christian mm. thank you so mm. much Thank you so much. I'm honored. But brother, we are remaining in touch, and we will work together. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. They remain in touch. Uh, please tell brother.